My question is, it, <laughs> excuse me, it's a question about, you guys had a tremendous success, top probably 1% of video podcasters, and it can support the two of you. Can you get it to the point where it actually can support a company, I guess? Well, it, it is, like, I mean, it does. And yeah. like, I mean, Homestar like, Runner's supporting 14 people. <laughs> Um, and like, it, like you know, it's it's just you know we just don't we're lazy. I, I would say like like you know we we could have an office now and we could have employees, but like every dollar that we spend is not going to us. So it's like you know like and like we're we're we've and why been so and why just to forever. say just to say you have an office. Yeah, like, you know it's like hey we got a we got a we got a staff of twenty. You know like so. So like, what do you hear from advertisers? Then the, the number of downloads they want to see then before they. Can make this to be make a living at it. Then what? At, at what point did you have number of downloads or number of viewers? Oh, I don't know. Like, I mean, like last year was so crazy. It was such a meteoric rise, like to to the number of downloads that we had. Like right now, we're at about two point seven million um, from AskAninja.com alone, and then I think YouTube were around like a million ish um, um, for our old stuff. So per, per month. Per month, and. Um, you know, and uh, we're we're about 60 million total on official Ask a Ninja channels at this point. Wow. Any uh, questions from the audience? Mm -hmm. Anyone? We're adorable. <laughs> David's got one up here. <laughs> Hold on, wait for the mic. We'll get it out of the boogie chan mic. I'm fascinated at uh, what your percentage of... Give a hand to the microphone. Um, I'm fascinated at what your percentage of scripted versus um, uh, organic improv is and i'm wondering if it's mostly scripted mostly improv it's it's it's, it's harder to say than it, like it, than than a straight percentage because even if something comes in uh, uh, scripted that might just be the seed of trying to improve that and, and get it better and beat it and and and, and finding somewhere yeah, like, so like if you didn't have the scripted thing you wouldn't have gotten to that other yeah, like, like the process, we just, we just shot an episode where it was, uh, you know, like, so he, he, had a lot of, he had some jottings down, and then he was typing in, and then, and then that was the starting point. Like, we were supposed to shoot at 10. Like, that's when we met. But, like, but the process took about four hours to prep that episode. And then, then we shot, and then we still changed it as we shot, too. And so we were still adding, um, you know, a, a massive amount of structure to it, and so, um, so you, you know, like it, it, it's it's the the work that Doug puts in at the beginning is is invaluable and, and gives us the starting off point. But and the fact that Kent has the brain of a thirteen year old or the attention span, at least, uh, that's invaluable while we're shooting. <laughs> So, because as soon as he gets bored, he's like, "What? What's going on? What's happening?" So, can, I, can I ask a dumb question for a second? Yeah. <laughs> so, speaking to the mind of a thirteen-year-old, how did you decide on your agent? Oh, we liked, uh, we loved our agents. Um, we, we signed with UTA before um, they started their new media division. Be, yeah, and we signed with the guys that represented uh, Channel One Hundred and One and the Lonely Island, and so we loved that they had experience with pre-YouTubers, and they. They built actual careers for them, and they they built a they built one based on Saturday Night Live, and they built one not on Saturday Night Live, and so it was like ah oh, these are the perfect people like we could figure this this out, and it was the same with our managers too. They had the Lonely Island guys, and so um, but yeah. E but even but even even those agents were surprised at uh, you know an advertising an advertising deal. They didn't they didn't understand how that would possibly be money because. Those other properties hadn't been fully licensable, or you know, able to be advertised. Oh yeah, against. and uh, yeah, we 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 negotiated. Our first meeting with Federated Media was at UTA, and and it was only the deal was only noteworthy because we negotiated it, and like everyone in Silicon Valley was like, "You negotiated?" Like you know, it was like, "Well, yes, we did." And uh, you know, and, and I think that that, that the value in agents. Uh, I know the Wall Street guy hated it, hated the agents or whatever, but. Uh, the, I think the value of agents is it allows us to just be creative and, and then allows them to, you know, put the brass tacks to people. <laughs> yeah, and if, yeah, if you're willing, if you really don't want to do it to the extent that you're willing to give up that, that 10%, yeah, if you're, yeah, if you, yeah if, exactly, if you're willing to do it to the extent that you will, will give up 10% or whatever, then, then absolutely do it. And, I, and I'm absolutely there. I don't, I don't want to have those conversations. I'd rather hand it over to our adult supervision. <laughs> yeah.
Any other questions? I got one more question. Oh, we have one here, and then I got one more. Hi. Uh, earlier you talked about protecting your branding or your intellectual property. Uh, could you go more into that? Uh, we've registered our trademarks. We've copywritten everything. We've uh, controlled our brand to the best of our ability. We don't use unlicensable things, uh, no footage of unlicensable things. You'll never see a label or... Uh, never, there's no music. We before we used the song, we had our song fully licensed from the from the band. They actually recorded it for us. <laughs> um, you know, we, and offering them revenue sharing, just 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 anything to just to plan plan for success. Yeah, and like you know, and 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 we our take is like you know we try to do uh, Creative Commons um, non-commercial by attribution, and uh, you know as well as copyright. And that allows fans and the, the people out there to really embrace and use it however they want. But like it allows us to um, send scary letters from our lawyers if commercial people start trying to exploit us for you know in ways that we're not comfortable with. Uh, so, so is there any way to stop some media giant with money from creating like talk to a samurai? That would well, that would be a question. Uh, for the yeah, like, yeah, no, I mean, uh, I, uh, <laughs> our lawyers are scary. <laughs> like, they're, they're very scary. Um, so, and we yeah. had anything that comes up to us that might be a potential concern, we forward it to them, and then they look at it and say, yes, this, this person is in clear violation of your copyright. And they, they, they just tell yeah, us. No, we, we've, had, like, we've had major brands try to do things like that, like, and like, oh, it's an homage, and like, can we get permission? And we're like, we just pointed it to our lawyers, and they're like, we will, <laughs> you're like, whoa, 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 all right, cool. Yeah. You know? and, and then, uh, and we've, you know, even done little subversive things like posting a Radio Shack ad as a fan film, and saying, hey guys, thanks for making that fan film about <laughs> Ask a Ninja. Yeah. One last question. Advice for anyone out here who wants to do the same, duplicate your success. In, in other things in, on online video. Make your show as easy on yourself as possible. Um, and I, you know, it, like don't, don't overcomplicate it. Like if, like, you know, I, I, think, I think weekly is probably the bare minimum that you need to produce. And so figure out what you or you and your partners or whatever the owners of the company can actually produce um, in that time frame, and, and then gradually increase quality. Yeah, and my favorite, uh, Kent Nichols film school advice that I think is valuable for the for this space is that uh, favors are not renewable. Just work with, with with what you have. Don't don't go banking on other people's time and other people's resources. Uh, just just work with what you have and 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 seek out your creativity through those. Uh, yeah, like challenges. I mean, if you can only do a show where your hand talks or something. <laughs> I love this show. <laughs> <laughs> that He's that easy, folks. He's that easy. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks a lot, Kent and thanks, uh, Douglas. Thank thanks you. very much, guys, for being here. I appreciate it. That's it.